Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty easy tutorial for everyone, but something I think that might really come in handy. And that's going to be how to change the combination on one of these lock boxes. And the reason I thought of this is one, well, you know, we've had this lock box on here for a while and I change the lock anytime a contractor or someone had come over. But in today's housing market, right, a lot of people are buying houses, things are moving quick. And, you know, they're trying to show as many houses as they can to as many people. And usually, when you end up sealing the deal, your house comes with a lockbox. And how many of you have actually changed that combination um, since the realtor put it on there? Or whomever, landlord, whatever. So just a really, really, really smart idea. You can usually trust all those people, but you should always change this combination after you've shared it. Now I have it set here just for the purpose of demonstration to 1111. We're gonna change it to 0000. And we'll go through the steps real quick. And then if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. So first things first, uh, to do this, you have to open the lock box, all right? So we opened it. Second, you can do it while the lock box is on the door, but it'll be easier for me to show you by taking it off. So to take it off, it says release right here. I'm just gonna flip this lever over, pull down, take your key out. All right, and we've got it off. Next, you're gonna see right here, it says reset. So I'm gonna put this on my table and we're going to reset this combination. We're gonna change it from 1111 to 0000 for the purpose of demonstration. Stick around. All right, so here's the lockbox. We've got it set to 1111. Now, one thing I'm gonna tell you, uh, even before you flip it to reset or anything like that, you won't be able to close this all right, until this is latched again. So for the purpose of demonstration, uh, when we're finished here, I'll show you. I'll latch this shut and show you that it works. All right, so right now, one, 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 one. Again, demonstration only. You're gonna open this up, and really simple. Right here it says reset. Flip this lever, this little lever over and up. All right, you're gonna feel it lock into place. Now, the hard part, just kidding. Just flip it to Whatever combination you actually want, do not do zero, 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 or one, 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 one. All right, now, like I said, it's not going to close until we do a few other things. Take your reset, turn it off, all right? That locks them into place. And then also, we're still not able to close it. So for here, I'm just going to latch it. I gotta get it in there. Okay, it's locked into place. That release lever goes over. There you go. As you can see, 0000 is now on the dial. And we'll open it up. Okay, we'll close it again. Spin the numbers just for demonstration. All right, we're locked. Take it back to 0000. Okay, pull it down. Boom, open. All right, and then what we're gonna do, what I'll do now, is I'll put this back on the door, and I'll show you again that we can't close it, and then I'll latch this back in place, and I will secure it shut, all right? So stick around for one more moment. All right, so here's the door. Got this thing open, all right? So what we're gonna do, remember, it won't close like this because this is still unlatched. All right, so we're gonna do, real simple, you come over here, all right, and boom. Here, click into place, firmly secured. You then just take this door, and we'll zoom in, because I got a fancy zoom ability here. We'll take this, you hear latch, spin it, locked in place, all right? So if you follow those steps, it's really simple to change the combination on a master lockbox, or I think pretty much any lockbox is the same technology. Uh, again, I did one, 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 to 0000, strictly for demonstration. I suggest not using either of those passwords. Uh, hopefully this helped out. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment. Uh, like and subscribe if you're really into this channel so I can get more stuff coming out to you guys. Hope everyone's enjoying this spring weather. Have an awesome day. Bye.